Yeah, good afternoon YouTube. I just wanted to make this little video to show how to read one of these digital meters. This is not a smart meter per se. They're actually going to upgrade our service here in the next year, I think, to actual smart meters. But this one was put in probably 10 years ago. It's a digital meter versus the old analog. So it's an iTron CL200. Your number up here is your kilowatt hours. The meter flashes every 10 seconds. And if you can see down here, there's some little dots and they're going towards the right. And there's three little dots. And each time a dot turns on or off is one watt hour. So there's actually three dots so they come on one dot, two dots, three dots, moving to the right. And then the left dot will turn off, the middle dot turns off, and the right dot turns off. So that's a total of six watt hours. And what you can do is, if you want to see how many watts you're using at, a, at the current time is count how many flashes on the display you get for one dot to either come on or go off. Okay, here we go. So there's one, so that's the start. So there's one whole cycle. So it took roughly one cycle, which is 10 seconds. That means one watt hour was used in 10 seconds, six watt hours in a minute, and 360 watt hours in an hour if it were to stay at that rate. So that's how you can work out the power usage and if your dots are going to the left that means power is flowing out of your house but normally that's not the case. It's always flowing from the left to the right and that shows power flowing in. So you can see it's gone through a whole cycle now. It's gone from one dot to two dots to three to two to one back to zero just like counting your pulse you've got the timer there 10 seconds at least on this meter other meters might have a different rate but just count the number of flashes of the main digits for one dot change or if the dots are changing quicker than the kilowatt hour number flashes, count how many dots change in 10 seconds, do whichever one is the uh, easier one to count. And the other thing you can do is you can take a reading, say first thing in the morning, and then take a reading the next day about the same time and you can get your day-to-day -day usage and then divide those kilowatt hours that you used in a day by 24 and that will give your average power consumption and then with this by watching those dots change you can get your instantaneous power consumption and then you can see if you're above or below the average so that's a pretty handy little tip there if you want to figure out what kind of power you're using